Expert Village has taught us the most important life lessons that we've come to cherish. The experts at the Expert Village have always been there for us when maybe our parents weren't. They taught us about the birds and the bees and the premature ejaculation. Now let's go a bit further. We've learned from Expert Village how to pick up women at grocery stores and how to flirt with girls, but now let's learn about getting into a relationship and general dating advice from the experts. I'm Arg Mala from New York Dating Coach in New York City. Arg Mala, holy shit, what a name. That sounds like a prestigious Viking or the name of a death metal band. Arg Mala sounds like a guy who gets up in the morning and falls dick first right into some hot punani. And I'm the author of Park Bench Dating. Park Bench Dating? I'm not trying to date a park bench. I'm trying to date some titty girls. In this clip, we're going to talk about how to uh, flirt with a co-worker. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. In this clip, we're going to teach you how to get fired from your job via sexual harassment charges. People think, you know, co-worker, who does that? But the reality is, 30% uh, of uh, people meet uh, their significant other or date somebody at work. 30%, huh? I'd like to see the scientific sources you use to pull that number out of your asshole. You can flirt uh, simple as that. Oh, how was the... Uh, did you get that memo? I did. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it was my favorite memo ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was so exciting. Seriously, it was... Uh, uh, it, it touched me to the bottom of my soul. It was, uh, it was so good about the globalization of China. Oh, it's just so good. <laughs> well, I'm not his co-worker, but that was so smooth that I'm starting to get wet myself. I mean, it, far be it for me to question the guru here, but I feel like that type of flirting will only work on park benches. I don't think it's going to work on actual human females. So you see, as simple as that, you, you, you know, we're talking about boring stuff, you know, like nobody likes memos. But you can make it fun. You can, you know, joke around and you just kind of, it's you know, make uh, make her laugh and have, you have a good time. And that's how you flirt in with a coworker. That was fun. What I watched there was two people having fun. Jesus, I've never had fun in my life. I guess I've never talked about globalization of Chinese memos or whatever the fuck that conversation was. What What do you mean joke around with it? Where were your jokes? I didn't hear. I didn't see any side splitting comedy routine there or anything. I don't. I, I don't recall her having a genuine laugh or a hoot and a holler about you being a fucking lunatic over memos and getting an erection about them. But hey, you know what? Now I know. Now I know that that's what flirting at the co at the uh, work office looks like. In this clip, we're going to talk how to initiate a kiss. And the best way to initiate a kiss is to do some kind of touching beforehand. So I actually suggest uh, you can do a thumb work. So that's the way my father taught me too. Son, you're going to have to go for a thumb war before you go for a kiss. It's the only way. It works in the real world, trust me. Argmala knows what he's talking about here. I can't tell you how effective it's been with smooching in my life where I say, hey, bitch, throw up a fist. We're going for a thumb war. I'm going to do some of this stuff. Huh? Sound good? Works every time. You know, after you do that, you can go for a kiss. So you do a little initiation first, and she's fine with that. That's how you know to how to go for a kiss. This is Argmala, and it was how to go for a kiss. What the fuck? You're not even gonna, they're not even going to kiss on camera? You got me fucked up. How am I going to get my winky dink heart if I don't see some hardcore expert village expert kissing on the first fucking initiation kiss? <laughs> Argmala, you motherfucker! This clip we're going to talk how to flirt without saying a word. And, you know, you can just look at her and she's looking back, you know, maybe sitting at a cafe or somewhere. And you can be like... Hey. <laughs> Alright, so sign language at her kind of badly. I'm assuming is a takeaway. I can see that working. Okay. I'll go ahead and practice. All right. That seems like it'll work. Thank you, Argmala. And, uh, you know, can can be funny face, you know. You can... Alright, so phase two of the plan is supervillain type poses and clickbait YouTube thumbnail faces. Dope, dope Rooney. That seems effective. Well, that's the end of the lesson from Argmala today. And I feel like if you do all of these things together, integrate all of it into your pickup artist game, no doubt in my mind you can spend at least 10 years behind bars if you try hard enough with this advice. That's it. Thank you, Expert Village. See ya.